Okay, so you want to make a game, uh, an extended high ROM game, like uh, Tales of Fantasia, Crimson Echoes, whatever. This is my cart creation board, and it uh, what you see is exactly how you would get it. It's just it's blank, doesn't have any ROMs. Um, and so so you would get this, and then you would need to program a couple of EEPROMs for Tales of Fantasia. Most Super Nintendo games are only require one ROM, but the, the EX High ROM, which stands for Extended High ROM, uh, you need two. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. I've already programmed the ROMs, so this is uh, Tales of Fantasia ROM number one. Put it there, and this is uh, Tales of Fantasia ROM number two. Uh, I'm using a 322 ROM for this, and I, uh, I had my ROM fire, uh, file mirrored to fill up the extra capacity. But uh, you can use a 160 ROM instead. Okay, so I put my ROMs in. Now for the totally boring part of soldering. Um, so if you buy this board and you burn the ROMs then or have the ROMs burn for you then this is exactly what you would do what I'm doing right now and uh, so anyways Again, I'm sorry for the boring. Maybe in YouTube I can speed it up or something. But, but you know, burning the ROM burning is nothing special. It's just I have a standard EEPROM programmer. Uh, you have to be able to program the 42-pin EEPROMs. So you have to kind of be careful if you're programmer only has 40 pin socket then you may need an adapter or a different programmer but, but essentially these files can be found on the internet and uh, I do own original copies of these games so not too worried about that and um, Uh, on with the uh, boring part. Alright, that's ROM number one. Took me about, uh, what about two minutes? That's ROM number two. This board is also capable of running two extended high ROM games on one cartridge. So you could technically put Tales of Fantasia and Crimson Echoes or Super Demo World or Dragon Quest 3. You could mix any of those together. And, um, and so, you know, to do a multi game. But a multi game would require uh, a microcontroller to do the switching. Or um, I've got a little uh, discrete ship uh, switching board that I'm going to be getting here pretty soon. But, will not require a microcontroller. It's just a little add-on circuit board, a little satellite circuit board that'll go in place of the microcontroller. So the only real difference between the two is uh, delayed reset and uh, memory, where the microcontroller will uh, remember the last uh, game you were playing, and so when you turn the game back on, it'll start back up and uh, where you were playing last. So, and these, um, 
current models also have the Super CIC security chip, um, where it'll go for a, a PAL or NTSC. Okay, so I got my two ROM chips put on. Now I need to set the ROM jumper there, where you see ROM 2. I need to bridge these two little points where it says 322. And then I also need to bridge my mappers up here. So for the extended high ROM, it's 1 and 3. Okay. So. So one and three. Okay. Other than the actual programming of the ROMs, you've seen it from start to finish. And there you have it, Tales of Fantasia. And it does save. I've played this game many times with this circuit board, and the saves work absolutely perfectly. So, we'll hang on for two seconds. Had to run to the other room and grab um, grab my uh, my two in one extended high run. I thought while I'm doing this video, I might as well just show you. So here's my uh, Prophet's Guile and Crimson Echoes. So this one is um, Crimson Echoes. And then if you hold the reset in for three seconds, two, three, then uh, it switches to Prophet Scale. And so uh, I thought I'd just show you um, that you can get two in one. So Just show you what's inside real quick. So I made this the other day, and I thought, I thought while well, I'm making this video about the extended high ROM features of my cart creation circuit board, I thought uh, this would be a good time to show you what's on the inside. So here's the circuit board. And so this is Crimson Echoes, and then this is Prophet's Guile. So I had to uh, mount the two. You don't have to mount them on the back. You could piggyback them, you know, on top. But uh, I really like mounting them on the back. I think it's a pretty, pretty easy way to go. Just, there's just a couple of uh, pins that you don't, you don't join with the upper ROM. That one and that one. So, but um, so that's uh, a two-in-one extended high ROM. Hope you enjoyed it.